the weight that you put on the ends of the arms um, is is extremely important. Um, and if you can save, like, even on a 5-inch rig, so do this. If, if you run those... Um, if you run those Rotoriot skids, right, uh, next time you go fly, fly half your batteries and then take them off. You will not believe the difference that removing, they are two point something, roughly two and a half grams each. Um, you will not believe the difference. The difference is not going to be removing 10 grams. It's, I, I can barely, barely, barely feel a 10 gram like net, you know, all up weight difference. Um, the difference will be the second that you move the right stick, um, because less weight on the ends of the arms makes a humongous difference in how quickly you can rotate, you know, that system. Um, and yeah, I don't think we give that like, for example, right. The Zing 2306s are hilariously durable and they're purple Two big thumbs up. Um, but they're just too heavy. Like I would love to run them, but they're like a gram and a half or two grams heavier than the T-Motor F40 Pro 2, uh, well, Pro 2s or Pro 4s. Um, and that just makes, in my opinion, the, the quad feel like shit. I'm very spoiled by flying rigs with 29 gram motors, but they make 20, they make I mean, you can get Emacs Ecos for like 12 bucks each, and they, they're 29 grams each. They're not super durable. They don't have tons of power, but do you really need all that power? When I used to have all that power, I would just like be up in the sky waiting to come down all the time. So if you want to be down, you know, in the action where there's like buildings and shit, less power. Although the, the T-Motor F40 Pro 4s make a shitload of power. <laughs> I have those things turned down to 80%, believe it or not. Um, and they're 6S KV. They're, they're 1950 KV. Um, Jonathan King says... Uh, new, uh, new Mobulus...